introduce myself. Okay, sorry. Uh, my name is Aki. I am the current president of Best Helsinki, studying mathematics and system sciences for the fourth year. And it's my second time actually as the chairman of the local organization Best. And we're going to proceed now. All right, let's start. So, blockchain afternoon with consensus. How this event got started, we talked with Nico in Telegram. Maybe we should do an event together. Okay, let's do it. And now we are here. Uh, we had around 150 people in Facebook interested, so there are probably some more people coming later on. The beginning is more uh, oriented to new people, people new to blockchain, and students may be interested in our local organization best. And unfortunately, we had the wrong location in Facebook. Did anybody notice that? Okay. Uh, no, no. Well, let's just hope we don't have a bunch of people in the middle, middle of Espo right now looking for Design Factory. Okay, a little bit about the schedule. So we're going to have multiple speakers here. Uh, Nico, who has been the main person providing all the content here from Consensus, which is the cryptocurrency organization of Finland recently established. We're going to have Ansi from CloudBounce and DBounce. Is Ansi here yet? No. He will be here. Then we have Mikko Alasarela from Inbot. We have Stani from Ethland. Henry from Rosmerta. Henry is here. And we're going to have Markus Lehtonen from Blockchain Forum. Anton uh, also from Consensus. And a little bit about the schedule. So, first of all, we're going to have a small introduction to our organization, Best, Best Helsinki. And we're going to have uh, go through the whole schedule right now. And uh, we had a couple um, person speakers who couldn't make it. So Nick, Nico asked me, can I do a small presentation about how to get started with cryptocurrency? So I'm going to do that shortly. But we are not going to probably use 45 minutes that schedule here. Instead, we're going to do pro probably around max 25 minutes, 20 minutes here. And there's beer for you. So you had to listen to me talking. I kind of tried to make you cope with that better, so the beer is free. And we're going to continue to the introduction about Consensus and Blockchain Forum. Uh, we're going to have uh, more information about personal security and wallets. And then we're going to move to taxation of cryptocurrencies. We're going to have a short break. And you can continue enjoying our beer. And, uh, and don't, don't be scared. You can go there anytime. It's just not for the break. Just don't... Uh, make a huge hassle in the front. We're going to move to more specific concepts. What problems do cryptocurrencies solve? Uh, what are the problems with Bitcoin, for example, the proof of work? And uh, what is an ICO? How to approach it? We're going to have a little bit about uh, investing and investing strategies. However, this event is not focused in promoting any single blockchain project, Bitcoin, any cryptocurrency as an investment. That is not our goal. Our goal is to share information and make people more aware of the concepts and the technology behind it. We're going to move to about uh, different organization structures enabled by blockchains. We're going to have more case examples of flat organizations, NX Solar and We Economy. We're going to have another break, and they're going to move to more projects. So we're going to have Debounce, Ethland, and Inbot. Okay. Okay, so. Like I said, the purpose of this event is not to promote blockchains or any specific project as investments. So 
some of you are gonna ask, should I invest in this, or should I invest here, or should I invest in this project? And if you ask this, the answer is nope. So don't take anything, anything as a financial advice. Uh, at least if anyone is promoting any specific project. So like I said, the purpose of this event to share knowledge and the best investment you can make is to use your time and effort to actually get known to the concept and research and make, make your own research. Don't trust other people. You have to have your actual uh, very vast understanding of the concept or the project if you ever are going to invest somewhere. So this is not focused about investing. Okay, so what is our organization? Uh, let's do a small questionnaire. So how many of you is a student? Okay, how many of you have heard of Best Helsinki? Okay. Uh, how many of you have heard about Bitcoin, everyone? How many of you have heard of Litecoin? Half. Okay, so we have a lot of new people. Okay, so Best Helsinki is a student organization working in Aalto. And we are under the Aalto University Student Union, so we are not an independent NGO, we are just a sub-department of AYY. We are established in 1989. We were founding the whole roof organization of a network of local best groups. So what we do here is we organize multiple different events in the local student community and up road. We try to integrate the foreign students in the Finnish culture and in the, on the other hand we try to get the Finnish students to go up road. Uh, we organize fun, educational, informal events and activities throughout the year. And this is our roof organization. We are in 97 technical universities in 33 countries, and we are non-profit and non-political. The core activity is listed here. Complementary education, uh, referring to our best courses, which I'm going to explain in a couple slides. Career support, we have career events all around Europe. We have a centralized career center online and our organization does educational development. Okay, this makes our organization sound really boring, but really not. So these are the values, flexibility, friendship, fun, improvement, learning, all this jargon makes us, again, sound as really boring, but it's not. Fun is our favorite value. <laughs> so we, most of our activities at the local level focus in this one. And I'm going to share a little bit of propaganda about our events. So how many of you are actually Aalto students? How many of you are engineers? Okay, basically all. So best courses are a are concept of one week long uh, events abroad. We have around 100 of them each year. And each of them is organized by a local best group, like Best Helsinki. And actually, it's not only just for engineers. The target group is engineer students in Aalto. However, if you study in Aalto, you can apply. Uh, your chances of getting in are lower, but in the end, it's decided by the local group you are applying to. And uh, basically, what's a course? You apply. If you get accepted, you will go abroad for one week. You will have content for around one ECT, meaning you have around 25 hours of academic content, which can be lectures, workshops, company visits, or case studies. And it's all inclusive. You get accommodation, you get the content, you get the food, free meals a day. You get evening program, which means usually different cultural activities, mostly parties for students every single day, most of the time. And uh, it's basically the best way to go abroad during your studies. You don't need to go to exchange. You can just uh, go to a one-week short course. It won't interfere with your studies too much. And you have around 100 options to go to. And we have four seasons a year. You can apply four times. And uh, the thing about the courses is it's organized by volunteers. So you go to week 
for one week abroad, uh, you get all these things. How much would you think it costs? Like, let's say, take from here. How much does a week abroad cost, all-inclusive, all with academic content? Okay, 1500 But the thing is, this is all organized by volunteers and uh, with the help of company sponsorships. So this cost around 50 euros for the whole week. So all you have to do is get the flights or get the trains or whatever. You choose your own way of transport. But everything is included in the fee of around 50 euros. Some examples. We have, uh, this is only from the summer season and this is only part of them. So we have graphene theory, we have artificial intelligence, we have aircrafts, we have hacking, we have the blockchain digital revolution in Montenegro. I'm actually going to go there if my boss accepts that. I don't know if Ansi is here or not. <laughs> we have different concepts, we have different topics, and uh, these are designed to fit any engineer student. So you don't have to be studying the actual field. You can just apply to any of these. They're begin beginner level courses. Of course, it's just one week. You cannot become an expert and you cannot have really vast understanding of the concept in a such short time. I will quit my propaganda about my organization soon. I will just give one slide. So this is my location history from the past two years. And all of these are because of being in best. I think Netherlands was just a quick change of flights, but basically everything else is because of the work I've done in this volunteer organization. So it's been quite a ride 